cosmology, the forbidden fruit. For this demo, I will be using a cantaloupe to symbolize Earth prior to the ocean basin forming. In this caption, I'm only addressing South America and Africa to illustrate how Pangaea, the envisioned supercontinent, is flawed without growth of our planet. The cantaloupe represents the forbidden fruit. Here I would like you to take notice how the bottom of South America wraps around the southern tip of Africa. It is as if South America is on its side compared to how it sits now. This was the natural state of South America prior to rifting of the ocean basin. Here the entire eastern border of South America is joined to the coast of Africa. It joins completely with Africa's western border and even wraps around the bottom end of Africa where it joins partially with the eastern side as well. This demonstration shows that when removing the cut pieces of South America and Africa from the cantaloupe, they no longer join properly when putting them on a larger sphere. In fact, it can't be done unless you split the continent in halves, which is not the case. What does happen when attempting to join South America with Africa at Earth's present size is that the continents flatten out and appear exactly as they do on a map of Pangaea, where theory in the name of truth is half-baked. Africa suffered minor distortion because it does not have a tail, but it stretched from pole to pole, so it's lost most of its original curvature. If South America did not have a tail, it would be much more difficult to prove that Earth was smaller. But in a very physical sense, the presence of South America and Africa signifies that growth has undeniable roots here on Earth for us to visually and tangibly explore. Anyhow, this demonstration brings out one prominent fact, which is that when joining the continents on Earth at its present diameter, the continents don't fully join as they would if Earth's radius were half of what it is now. A smaller Earth fills the gaps left behind by Pangaea. How can one dispute hard evidence such as this? We very easily can by simply ignoring it, as they did with Samuel Warren Carey. To sum this up, what does all this tell me? It reveals to me that the wheel of life goes round and round. No one can ever pinpoint a beginning or an end to the creative forces. So live in the present, be enveloped by your surroundings, because when all is said and done, the present is a gift that shouldn't be ignored. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will leave you with an illustration of my soul-searching friend, the Scarecrow. He signifies for me man's desperate struggle for truth in a world in fear of change. Mm -hmm.